hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i will show you how to fix graphics glitches and missing texture issues in your rpcs3 let's get started as you can see i have rpcs3 version 0.0.27 and 14812 and if you are using older version rpcs3 then please update your rpcs3 first because older version rpcs3 can face many graphics glitches and missing texture issues for any game so first of all update your rpcs3 first and as you can see i have a game god of war demo version 2009 guys i have different solutions for different games now go to the game you want to fix the issue so now right click and go to change custom configuration and go to cpu settings now go to restore default and click on apply and save custom configuration and after selecting restore default settings go to cpu settings and select for and select over here recompiler llvm ppu decoder an SPU decoder recompiler LLVM because I am using God of War demo version so this game uses this recompiler LLVM and check this option enable SPU loop detection and SPU block size select mega from here otherwise you can select save but I recommend this one now over here you can select one otherwise you can select auto I'm using God of War 3 demo version so I recommend auto from here and if you have another game then select one from here now this time I select auto and apply and go to GPU now because Walden is better than OpenGL guys do not skip any part of this video over here if you don't have Walden vendor in your RPCS3 then please update drivers for your GPU if you are using older version drivers then Vulkan does not show over here in your RPCS3. Now go to search bar on your windows and type here device manager. Go to device manager and go to display adapter and right click as you can see I have only one device as GPU in my PC already installed. Now right click and go to properties and go to drivers and check your driver date and driver version installed in your PC for your GPU. So I am using latest version drivers for my GPU. And if you are using older version drivers for your GPU then please update drivers for your GPU first. It's very important guys. And if you want to update drivers for your GPU then go to details and right click and copy. Now you can search for the latest drivers for your GPU. Now OK and go back. If you have already updated drivers for your GPU, then select Vulkan from here and select your powerful GPU device over here. And over here, select Disable from here. It's very important thing. And select Texture Streaming. And check it. And check this one, right color buffer. And check it and select from here default resolution scale and apply and save custom configuration now right click and change custom configuration again now go to advanced options and over here rsx select automatic from here otherwise you can select fast and driver wake up delay select 200 ps from here otherwise you can increase it and check it and the maximum number unlimited default do not select any other options from here and apply and save custom configuration now guys you need some more settings for your gpu if you want to fix the issue for your RPCS3, right click and change custom configuration and GPU. And as you can see, 
you need some more things to fix this issue. Now close it and right click and go to NVIDIA control panel or your AMD control panel or Intel HD graphics. Now go to manage 3D settings and scroll down and as you can see so you need this one select off from here turn it off this much and select this one off and off now apply Now scroll down and open GL rendering GPU. Select your powerful GPU device from here. In power management mode, select maximum performance. And texture filtering quality. High performance from here. And click on apply. And click here and go to processor settings select your GPU device so over here guys you need to select powerful GPU over here click on apply and go to image settings select performance from here And click on apply and it's done and if you want more settings for your RPCS 3 to fix the issue then right click and go to display settings and scroll down and go to graphics settings And go to browse and go to your rpcs3 folder and select the application file from here and add and options and high performance and save and it's done after these settings you can fix the issues for your rpcs3 so i hope this tutorial will be helpful for you guys if you like it then please subscribe and like my this video thanks for watching guys bye bye see you in the next video